dynamic man of God to you at this time. I want you to stand and receive at this time Bishop Dr. Michael A. Frick. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Indeed, it's an honor and privilege to be here tonight. Give an honor to the visionary of this great assembly, to the pastor, deacons, deaconesses, and everyone in their respective places. Get greetings tonight. Shall we bow our heads and get ready to pray? Our Father and our God, I thank you for this awesome opportunity to speak to these your people. Use me as an oracle, give revelation and illumination for transformation, for your edification, for their education, and no frustration. And that's my proclamation. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, yes, Lord, transportation. Amen, amen, amen. Before you take your seats, turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, I'm reconciling myself. Back to God. Oh, yes. Stay in here. You turn to another neighbor and say, Neighbor, I'm reconciling myself. Back to God. Now, yes. You may be seated in the house of God. Hallelujah. Indeed, is here. Amen. See, oftentimes, in our walk with God, we encounter obstacles to thwart the plan and purpose of God in our life. A lot of our young people today are losing and have lost their way. Truth be told, when I was growing up, Mother Brooks, when I was growing up, why, I used to eat a lot of East Indian manga and all. Anyway, let me get back to my word. When I was growing up, amen, I was in church Sunday morning for Sunday school. Sunday morning for service, Sunday evening for service, Bible study Wednesday, church prayer meeting Thursday, and church on Friday, even all night prayer. Sometimes every day of the week, I would have to be in church. And truth be told, if there was an eight day, I would probably be in church then too. Come on, somebody. Now, but today we have these modern day Christians who can quote up a storm on Facebook but can't say a word for testimony service. Come on, somebody. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. Come on here. Some who see a little drizzle outside and use that as an excuse to call out of church service. Come on, somebody. Yes, the devil is a liar. But a lot of us oftentimes, listen, a lot of us oftentimes are motivated because we want to appease the expectations of others. Yes, be motivated in order to make people like us. Sometimes we want to extinguish the fires of distrust and do something to make them applaud. Come on, somebody. But if your motives does not please God or align itself with the purposes of God for your life, the same people who put you up can surely put you down. Come on, somebody. Church of the living God. Can I see you here? Yes. So you got to be careful. Come on, somebody. That's it. Turn around. Come on. Anybody who can't stop it from happening can't make it happen. Thank you, son. Can I turn it around for somebody in here? Anybody who's not gonna make it happen, they can't stop it. Mr. Can't stop it. Lord have mercy. Come on, somebody. a means to an end. Oftentimes, there are there for a reason and a season. Give me five more minutes and I'll be out of your way. Technician, if you would just turn up my mic a little bit, I will be a happy man. Come on, somebody. Yes. Every now and then, God will pull you out of that circle of friends. Every now and then, he will let you hear something that will disillusion you so you won't put your own trust in man. Every now and then, God will remind you that my help, my help, coming from the Lord. Come on, somebody. I'm looking unto him who, who is the author and finisher of my faith. Yeah. Lift up your hands and give God a shout. 
loud, praise your hand. Say yes, say yes. Come on, somebody. Listen, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, no ticket, no laundry. No suffering, no crown. You got to go do something. You got to endure something. You got to remember something. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Say, neighbor, I can make God show up. With one praise, he'll come to my rescue. With one hallelujah, he'll see about me. With one I can see God show up. How many want God to show up in this place tonight? Come on, somebody. The moment you praise, the moment you shout, God will show up. The creator of heaven and earth will come down to see about you. When I praise, yeah. Surely, I'm sure someone is delivered from 